Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. In this video today, I'm going to make a super fun pink cowgirl tumbler design. I had so much fun putting this together and I really hope you all enjoy the video. As always, I'll have a full supply list down below in the description box for you along with discount codes, links to all of my social media pages, as well as a link to join my mentorship group if you're interested in more content and stuff from me. If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button too so you don't miss any of my new videos. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you like it. Let's go! We're going to start with a 32 ounce plump tumbler from the Tipsy Magnolia and I'm going to start by removing this bottom cap so that we can do a little bit of a glitter booty on here. And the way I do this is just by taking a flathead screwdriver and kind of shoving it into that little seam down at the bottom using a hammer to drive the screwdriver in and then you just pop that cap right off. It's super easy. After that, I'm going to sand down my tumbler with an 80 grit sanding block and then give it a good wipe down with my 91% rubbing alcohol. Now that our cup is prepped, we can move into our designing. So starting with this super cute pattern from the Vinyl Cottage, this is kind of like a cowgirl collage pattern and I thought it was so fun and super cute. So we're gonna use this on the top, probably like 60% of our tumbler. We're not gonna do a perfect 50-50 split here. I definitely wanna show more of this collage than less so i decided to go a little bit more than half as you can see here on the tumbler so i just kind of picked a spot in the pattern where i thought a straight edge would work the best luckily this collage has a lot of square images in it so we're really not going to be able to see a seam or have any like harsh breaks in our lines if that makes any sense so once I get my vinyl in place, I'm gonna tape down one edge with my painter's tape as I always do. Peel back a little bit of the backing, adhere that to the tumbler first, and then we will wrap the vinyl onto our cup. Now to do this, I'm doing the same thing that I do with every single vinyl wrap. I'm using the felt edge of my squeegee, and I'm just gonna push the vinyl onto the tumbler, pushing the backing away in the process. For me, this is the easiest way to avoid bubbles or any mishaps with my vinyl wraps. It makes it a super duper easy process. Now for the seam on this cup, like I said, we have a lot of straight lines here, so I'm just going to find some of those straight lines and cut a straight seam because you really aren't going to be able to see it because of the nature of this pattern. Typically, I would do a nice wavy line, but for this one, I just went with a straight line. Then I'm going to cut off all of the excess vinyl from the top rim of the cup and make sure everything is really nice and finished down there. And then we've got the top half of our tumbler ready to go. So now for the bottom, I'm gonna use this transparent star pattern. Now you have seen this in a previous video, but this is a transparent pattern, like I said. So you're really not going to see this pattern unless you put it right on white. So I'm going to kind of cheat and make it an opaque pattern by laying it over some regular white vinyl first so that we can apply it to our tumbler and see the pattern. If you want to also, you can do like a white glitter on the bottom of your tumbler and epoxy it and then add the pattern. Um, you can do a fun like pearl pattern like I did in the previous video using this same star transparent pattern. You can really do whatever you'd like for this transparent pattern. I would just recommend putting it over white so that you get the full color that's in the pattern. And that goes for any transparent pattern, not just this one. So what I'm doing here is using my vinyl squeegee, as you can see, to layer this transparent vinyl over the white so that we can basically, like I said, just make it an opaque pattern and put it right on our tumbler. After I've got the vinyl laid down, I'm going to trim up all of the edges and make sure they're straight. And then I'm going to wrap it around the tumbler the same way I would any other piece of pattern vinyl.
I'm gonna use my cup edging tool from Cami Page Boutique to clean up this bottom rim of our tumbler. We are going to glitter this part. When we do the glitter booty, it's gonna be like all glittered. So now that we've got the vinyl wrap on, we can actually go in and glitter the bottom for the glitter booty. So I'm gonna take some painter's tape and tape off that bottom edge of the vinyl. And then I'm going to base paint this portion of the tumbler with my bubblegum pink acrylic paint from Delta Ceram Coat, my favorite brand of acrylic paint. It's the best, I will sing its praises from the rooftops all day long. <laughs> so I'm gonna paint the bottom rim that's showing like on the body of the tumbler, but I'm also gonna paint the entire bottom just because I was already there painting it. I figured I might as well. So to adhere my glitter, I'm gonna use UV resin. So starting with the bottom rim here, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the UV resin and spread it all over. This is essentially like the epoxy method, but we can cure it and get it dry really quickly so that we can do the glitter booty all at once. So for this bottom portion, I'm gonna use Jewels from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's the perfect pink tone to go with our super pink cowgirl tumbler design. So I'm just gonna pour that glitter all over the outer areas of the glitter booty, remove my tape, and then I'm going to cure this in front of my UV lamp for maybe about five minutes, as you can see here. I will link this UV lamp down below in the description box. I got it on Amazon and it is one of my absolute favorite things because it works so well. Now for this middle portion of the glitter booty, we are going to use more UV resin and I'm gonna use gumdrops from Peachy Olive Glitters. So I'm gonna take about 15 milliliters of the UV resin and a little bit of the glitter, mix that all together, and then we will pour that into the entire bottom of the glitter booty. I will admit that I am not the best at doing the like middle glitter and then the outer rim glitter. To me, it always just looks messy. So I'm practicing that and trying to get better. But in the meantime, I really like how these just like one color solid glitter booties look. <laughs> so I did one round of the gumdrops in the bottom, cured that, and now I'm going in with a second coat. I didn't, I didn't want the UV resin to be so thick that it would get really hot and then not properly cure, so I did it in two layers. Now at this point, we can add our first coat of epoxy to the tumbler. Now I did not seal jewels on the bottom of the cup because I knew that I was gonna add more glitter to that bottom star section, so I was not at all concerned if jewels moved up into that area as well. This first coat of epoxy is about 20 milliliters and I'm going to apply that Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy to my tumbler first. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my leftover epoxy and I'm gonna mix in As If from Peachy Olive Glitters. And I'm going to just spread that all over this bottom star section. Now, of course, this is totally optional, but I wanted to add some more glitter somewhere on this cup. I couldn't just have it on the bottom. So I'm just going to take that chunky glitter as you can see and just put it all over that bottom area. After that coat of epoxy, I added a second coat over the glitter and now I'm going to go through and do all of my sanding. So I'm using an 80 grit sanding block here and I'm going to do this a little bit and then I'm gonna go and use my electric sander to really get it as smooth as possible. And then we're going to wash it with dish soap and water so that we can add the rest of our design elements. Starting with our vinyl striping, I'm of course going to use my favorite vinyl, the Champagne Gold Textured Metallic Vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, and I'm gonna put one strip of that in between our two vinyl patterns, and then I'll add another strip at the bottom of the tumbler where the vinyl and the glitter meet as well. I cut these stripes out at 0.12 inches in width, I believe, and I'm just going to try a bunch of times to get them as straight as possible. Now for the decal on this tumbler, I thought it would be really fun to try putting one of these patches on the tumbler. Now this is an adhesive patch, so it's just like a sticker. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. They have a ton of really cute like patterns and designs and things. And I thought it would be really fun to try. 
So what I'm going to do is take this decal and I'm going to put it right in the middle of the cup where our two vinyl patterns meet and I'm going to lay it horizontally. Now of course you can do it however you'd like to do it, but I thought it would look really cute in the middle of our two patterns and really stand out well against that super busy collage that we have going on at the top of the cup. Once I've got the decal placed down, I'm going to take the binding potion from Adhesive Apothecary and I'm going to seal the sticker the best I can. Now, of course, this is like a fabric piece, so you do want to make sure that you seal it. And keep in mind that this is a really thick sort of sticker or decal or whatever you want to call it to put on your tumbler. So your cup is never going to be 100% perfectly smooth after you put a patch on your cup that's this thick. So I'm going to put epoxy over this, of course, but I'm not expecting that my cup is going to be perfectly smooth as it would be if you just used like a regular vinyl decal. I let that binding potion dry for about an hour and then I went in with my final two coats of epoxy. I'm using the Flint Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy for the final two coats and each of these was about 25 to 30 milliliters. Now I might add a third final coat to this just to make sure we've got plenty of epoxy coverage over that patch. Because it's a like embroidered or like sewn thing, I wanna make sure we've got plenty of epoxy over it. So I might go back in and do a third coat, we'll see. But that's it for this tutorial. Here is the final tumbler design. I really, really love how this turned out. It really came together in a way that I hadn't really imagined when I first started but sometimes you just have to pivot and go with your heart. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. We've got another series coming up starting next week. So stay tuned for that and I will see you then. Okay, love you, bye. I want to say a special thank you to all of my channel members, subscribers, and especially my elite fam. Thank you guys for all of your support. I literally could not do this without you. If you want to be part of the fam, you can subscribe to the channel, join as a channel member, or if you'd like the full shebang, extra content, and all of that, you can join my elite fam by going to patreon.com slash elite fam. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for all of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Here's one if you want to check it out. Okay, love you. Bye.